Hello everyone, welcome back to our course on computer vision. I am Kausa Tripathi, your instructor, and today we are going to talk about erosion and dilation in images. How we can erode the images or dilate the images. So by the word, I think you got a good idea like erosion. If we talk about erosion, then erosion basically means is, you know, thinning out something. And uh, when we talk about dilation, then dilation means thickening something, you know. So in images, we when we talk about erosion and dilation in terms of images, we basically talk about you know thinning the boundaries in the images, whatever the boundaries or uh, edges that image have, we we will thin out, thin it out, or in that in the terms of dilation, we're gonna thick it out. So wherever we really need some kind of a good edges, we use the dilation. Where we want to thin out the edges, we use the erosion. So it's a very simple concept. Let me show you in Spider ID how we're gonna do it. And we're also gonna learn two or three more different things with the format with the mixing of erosion and dilation. So let's get on to a spider ID and see how we can do all of this. Okay, so here we are. I have imported two libraries, CV2 numpy, and uh, I have uh, uh, this uh, use this image Linux logo.jpg. Uh, let me show you what this image is. Just let me zoom it out. Okay, so this is this image Linux logo. Okay. We are going to use this image and you know to understand this concept erosion and dilation. Okay, so first we'll talk about erosion. Let I'm going to write the whole program later with it. Uh, so for the erosion, we use uh, one method called cv2 dot erode, and this method takes certain you know, parameters like uh, first it takes the source image. So we're gonna give it image then it takes um, uh, you know kernel it requires a kernel and with this image because when we talk about erosion uh, wait a minute let me just comment it and show you okay this is suppose this is our image and if we are talking about erosion means we are thinning out the images now to, th uh, to remove or to add something in the image we need a kernel that will process that much of the pixels and the time and it will uh, you know pre-process those images so while doing these things we need a kernel and to create a kernel we have already know how to we can create a kernel of our own uh, let's say kernel variable and uh, uh, by the numpy method of np dot once we will create our own you know kernel of size yeah either 3 by 3 5 by 5 or 7 by 7 your choice i'm going to take it 5 by 5 comma np dot uint8 okay so we have created our own kernel now i'm gonna remove the comment from here yeah we're gonna take the kernel then the third parameter it takes is iterations like how many time it is gonna work on that image okay so mostly we use iterations for the ones but if you need you can increase the iterations like something is really thick and you want to thin it out then yeah you might uh, need more iterations but right now we're gonna use go with the iterations one okay now this is called erosion now we right now we are doing eroding okay now let's talk, also i'm gonna create a program for dilation also so it's simple it's cv2 dot dilate method and in this we give parameter mh comma same thing kernel and iterations and there are also iterations one so okay we've uh, created a program for erosion and dilation now i'm gonna uh, i am show it cv2 dot i am show okay now for dilation Okay, so let's run this program. Let's see what happens. Oh, wait a minute. Let's run this program. Now you see, this is the original, you know, the original image, Linux in the center. And in the left hand side, uh, the right hand side, sorry. You see, this is an erosion image. What it did? It just thin out all the you know edges in this Linux word written over here 
and uh, even in the bottom you know section you see there's something written it's very hazy and it is almost removed it because it's really small okay and it has just you know see here in L this section uh, it is very thin over here so it almost removed it from here same way for this uh, X line it is thin so it got you know removed so this is how uh, it worked and it eroded the not this uh, this uh, uh, amount of erosion uh, depends on two things on the kernel size and the number of iterations you use so right now we have used a kernel of 5 by 5 if you use a different size kernel maybe uh, you won't just diminish this it you can still see it like a, a thin line okay so this is erosion now if you see this dilation over here now what it did it adds the you know it takes out the, all the edges in this in this image you know all the boundaries over here it is just thickened out that's why this n and u almost merged over here this x look lot thicker okay so this is erosion and dilation now there are two more things with this uh they're like opening and closing these two terms are used opening and closing now opening is like first we it will do a erosion and then it will do a dilation on that eroded image and same ways for the closing it's the opposite of it for it what closing does it will first dilate the image means make all the boundaries thicker and then it will do the erosion on it so let me show those two examples over here only image 3 uh, this was in this so uh, the method is used is morphology x and it also takes parameter image original image and then it takes a method cv2 dot morph open for opening and then the kernel what is the kernel size we are providing it and for the closing same thing is cb2 dot morph logix and mage comma cb2 dot morph close comma kernel now if you see one thing i want to tell you okay let me show you Wait a minute. Okay, it is not showing right now. On uh, that list, I was kind of thing. I was try, kind of trying to show you all those morph methods that are present over there. Okay, I'm going to uh, give you the important ones. I'm going to tell you important ones: this erosion, dilation, morph open, morph close. But rest of them, try it out. And if you couldn't work with them, if you find some problems, then put it in the comment section. I'll make a video on them too. Okay, but right now I'm just explaining these four concepts. These are important concepts, huh? and rest are all like uh, bystanders of it. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna make, I'm show sure these both of them. Match three and CV two dot I'm show. For that uh, closing, now these are all of them. Now, this you see here, this is the original image, okay. And we have already talked about dilation and erosion over here. You see, these two are erosion and dilation on the right hand side, and these are opening and closing on the left hand side okay now i told you opening is when we first do the erosion and then we apply a dilation on the image so what happens here but first it eroded like in the right hand side it did the erosion okay lots of things were removed like this section a little bit of this section is all being removed okay then dilation is being applied now dilation is applied on the boundaries okay wherever the boundary is present but in some certain areas the boundaries is almost over or finished there is no boundary over there so that means whenever it was it when it was dilating it so it couldn't find the boundaries and it left those areas like you see here in the l it leaves the certain area and same way here it leaves the certain areas but wherever it finds the boundaries it it, it has thickened at all okay same way when we talk about closing closing means first it will dilate the image it will co co cover out all the boundaries make them thick and then it is going to work on erosion so you see here it has thickened out all the boundaries so that they can be properly visible and does not much get affected or you know get diminished while eroding and then when we eroded it you see here 
as I told you, it almost looks like the original image, just with a little bit of deformities. But you see, all the lines were thickened first of all, and then they were worked with the erosion. So it almost looks like the original image, but not a complete original image because it couldn't decipher it as a boundary between N and U because they both are merged together. So it just couldn't detect that there is a boundary between N and U. So that's why it couldn't, you know, work that properly or the boundary between L and I over here. So basically, dilation, uh, these closing or opening or this erosion dilation when uh, we work with, when we want to create uh, some edges or we are unable to find a very proper edge over there and we want it, uh, you know, we want that edge. So we use a dilation to thicken out those edges and all. So this is all in the erosion and dilation. And there are other methods, morphology methods, there are lots of morphological methods. If you wanna, you know, just work with them. And if you find a problem, if you couldn't understand them, then you can put in the comment section. I'll make another video on it. And there will be a link in the description uh, with the, these all morphological concepts that you can visit there. They have explained it pre pretty well, I'm sure. Okay, so see you in the next video.